this is CE Madison here and welcome to our very first ever Let's Comment On. So the goal of Let's Comment On is we are just going to do like a commentary on some of these on some of the films that we're going to watch. Now they're not going to be like cult following films, they're not going to be big name films. These films will probably tend to be more than like to be um, like under the gem or hidden gem films, I guess you can say that. I'm not going to say that they're good, I'm not going to say that they're bad, it really all depends on what's going on. So the first one that kind of caught my eye, and this first film that kind of is starting off the entire uh, Let's Comment On, is something called Paddock Swimming to Sea. Now I don't know anything about this other than in a way it's like Finding Nemo but not for kids? I don't know what's happening with that, I don't know what's going on with that and why it's titled like that. But we're going to get to the bottom of it and see why in 3, 2, 1, go. That's all Korean, so I have no idea. Oh, I guess that's something I should probably say, too, is that this is not going to be an English film. This is from Korea, I believe. But I'm hoping to have subtitles on, at least, so we can see the dialogue. So we can see the dialogue. Paddock. 2012. Whoa! So are we getting the fishies point of view now? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! What is happening right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. That, oh my god. Oh, I mean, I know that's how you like skin fish and stuff, but come on! <laughs> Ooh, I don't like that eel. Oh, there's another flatfish. Why is he not with the other flatfish? Oh! Wow! Was that seriously needed? Whoa. Oh my god. Did they just throw in like an old frail fish? <laughs> why are they... Well, why is he... Oh, I bet they're gonna feed it to the master. <laughs> Jesus! What is this? Like an offering to the master first? And then whatever is left over with scraps? Oh my god! He poked out the eyeballs! Oh, wow! Oh, so that was his love? What? Oh, I hate that eel! You know he's gonna eat everybody!
Oh, I don't like that eel. You know he's gonna eat everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so horrible. Why? Brain. Oh. Ah! <laughs> he just sneaks down. <laughs> Oh, go! Go, Pata! Go, Spotty! Go, go, go! No, Spotty! No, Spotty! Pata, don't go in there without him! Don't go in there without Spotty! Spotty or her or he? I don't know. No! The master's gonna tear. Oh my god! <laughs> Uh-oh. You little mini mopey, she's better get out of here! Oh my god! She's eating the little Nemo fishies! Oh no, was that spotty? Why did that- I think that is supposed to be spotty. Why did he take- why did he take Paddock? Oh no. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh my god, they took Paddock and they killed Paddock. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? No way. Is this how this movie's seriously going to end? No way. Oh, wow. So this is essentially how this film is going to end. Okay. What? What? I can't believe that's how this film is actually going to end. That is insane. That is... I can't believe that's how this film is going to end. That is crazy. What the hell just happened? Okay, so Paddock, uh, just like the synopsis, it is kind of like Finding Nemo, but it is but it is intended for a mature audience. The animation was kind of smooth, but I wish they gave more attention on the people, on the humans. I feel like they were also working on a smaller budget, and that was kind of helpful to them because from what it seems like, it the movie was only set in one scene, and that was at the fish market or the restaurant, and the rest of the animation, like, when we have the um, like singing segments and the song segments, it was a total different animation. What my what got my mind kind of going with that is how would the film be reacted to others if the film was kind of two D like this? Would it kind of get the same result? Would it kind of get this? Would it kind of get the same reaction versus rather if it's on three D? The story. Is very simple um, of course a fish gets caught and she's trying to get out but Paddock our main character she ended up getting killed she ended up getting killed off that was a total round twister I mean I can't think of any main characters that were so close and they made it close to the end of the movie all of a sudden you get killed off in the end you have the master the flatfish he was the only one that was able to escape. You think he would like bring off some kind of riot with the other fish so they all could escape and the eel. 
But no, they just sat there in that tank. And they're going to be doing exactly what they've been doing to stay alive this entire time. I mean, what? I I think that's enough adventure for me for Paddock. I was able to actually rent this for free if you have Amazon Prime. If you just kind of want to see it, buy it, do whatever you want to do, I'll post a link in the description box below. On What's kind of really weird is that on Amazon Prime, Swimming to Sea, as it's properly called, has a four and a half out of five stars. That is a shock to me. Yes, while the story was good, some of the things are just like, oh my gosh, it was crazy. It, I'm not saying it's bad, it, it's good. It was an interesting film, but I think I can only watch this film one time. Going off with my new rating now, between zero stars from, oh my god, this is so terrible, to five stars where I say, this is the most exciting and amazing film ever, I would probably have to give Paddock maybe a mutual of three. I kind of wish they didn't kill her off. I wish that the flatfish, the master, he was able to talk to the other fish about a grand plan and all of them could escape, but we decided not to go that way. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching my reaction on this film. If you want to see me react to more unusual films like this, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press the like button. If you want to see more of my content, press that subscribe button. If you're interested in this kind of content, click on that bell to be notified for personal videos or all my videos. Thanks so much and we will see you on another day.